And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Transport Fever. Uh, well, I've just been uh, kind of tinkering here and there, looking at our supply and demand. Our food situation is phenomenal uh, with this setup here. We're just going nuts with supply. Our iron and other situation is doing very well although you know this thing has 87 stored i don't know why it's not dumping them into my like automatically going into my uh, station here it's really weird and i lengthened the coal and iron situation so we are now processing or, or delivering way more material but the whole delivery thing is sort of baffling me uh, it's got, look at all the coal, it's got tons of coal, tons of iron, and all of this steel right here, ready to go out, um, and it's just not, it's just not delivering it into my, my platform there, which is sort of baffling. It may, may be a situation of supply, because I don't have any planks right here, it's not able to actually process all of the steel that it has. So one thing that I want to do is this thing is going to drain all of its logs. I want to send it to depot and we are going to beef this little guy up. Um, I could put quite a few more gondolas on there just to deliver more material to this thing. This is, this is what needs all those planks and I want to be able to deliver them all. I could add a second train just to deliver planks back and forth. Um, that is definitely an option. I've got the setup for it. I've got all the signals. Um, and down here, you know, I had that issue with the signals. Essentially, I just made sure they were on the right tracks. And I just bulldozed the, the diamond cross. The signals, the, the way that they work is is kind of beyond me right now and I didn't want to futz with it too for too long so here we are going to what is this upgrade oh we well, might as well oh can't do it when there's vehicles okay so uh, let's see we have the Atlantic in there right now uh, so this is the Atlantic I think we're going to want to beef that up a little bit. Um, maybe electrify it? Um, maybe not. I mean, the Atlantic has pretty good tractive effort. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> if we go with this thing, uh, we would be able to put far fewer <clears throat> gondolas on there than we normally would. <clears throat> that's something caught in my throat <clears> throat um so i think maybe maybe do electrified uh let's see if i can upgrade this oh it would it would erase all of that um so i think what we're gonna do is go with the steam so let's get rid of that I wish we had like diesel electric unlocked at this point. That would really help. Um, Cause this thing goes, you know, a little slower than the Atlantic, but it has much stronger effort. Um, and we are making money hand over fist with this system. So one, two, three, maybe more. And we want to set line to wood planks and let's see what that does not sure which direction it's going to go Hartford North Spokane Trent yeah figures figures it would go the wrong direction so we are now um, with this I'm going to let it slide and then I'm going to turn it around 
and as such, we are going to make sure it's colored. I, you can color things after the fact, which is nice. I like, I like that ability. Thank you very much. So now we've got a pretty sizable train, 144 units it can carry now. Uh, let's uh, let that come into its own. Oh yeah, we could have fit way more trucks on there. Load it all up. Oh, beautiful. Just pack it in there. Wonderful. So let's see. This little short jaunt here for delivery. Let's see what we can... Uh, make just with this little run here. I'm definitely going to want to start looking at high speed rail, getting ready for the modernization uh, of the system. So 900, almost a million dollars for the planks to go to that distance, which is good. Um, and that should help bolster the tool and machine construction quite a bit so yeah I've got lots of planks stored potential 242 so I have room to grow with that but that will help use up that steel and I've been looking at ways of maybe doubling this train up a little bit um, but it's not not as easy as I would hope um, I would basically have to figure out uh, and that guy is stopped for reasons. Okay, yeah, he can split off. Uh-oh, I think we have a bad situation here. A very, very bad situation. How did this happen? Because he's going to stop. And he's going to... Okay. This is ridiculous. What is going on with these trains? Why can't they find their path? Um, he should have come in and gone onto this track. Why did he? Why did he insist on being on here? Is it because I have another signal right here? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the signal situation, so... So yeah, there's that. Maybe I need to remove these signals out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this signal here. And keep that as a block all its own. So this whole line right here is a block, which this signal should control. This signal should control this block and not let trains in if, if it's occupied, which is what I wanted. So I might have had a, a superfluous signal right there. And where did I send that other train? Um, I don't even know. That must have been, that must have been this train here. So this guy is going, he's delivering machines, and this guy should have a full load. Look at the, look at the wood. We got so much more wood over here. So I want to think about what I can do to increase the amount of wood that we're able to deliver without screwing up too much of my train system here. Oh, what about our plank situation? Planks are doing good. And is it out of wood? Yeah, it is. It's out of wood completely. Well, this should... Uh, this train should be delivering plenty. Ooh, look at all the tools we suddenly have. Fantastic. I'll actually be able 
to load up tools. Yeah, I added a one one box car for machines because it was insisting on trying to deliver machines using that line. So I said, you know what? Just add one car to that, and that will be our. I think that'll be our, like our first full load of machine or uh, tools for that line. So this should really, let's uh, speed it up just a little bit. And we should be making an obscene amount of money with this delivery. But it's good because that's an eight, that's a $9 million locomotive right there, three million. So that'll pay itself off in about three years, um, maybe a little less, two years. Look at all the wood that we're delivering. That is insane. And of course, we're not going to fill up on the way back because it just got that load of wood. And it's only storing 40. I, again, I don't know why it's only storing, why it's storing so much. But now we're going to be delivering a bunch more planks, which should help that a bit. So a first full load of tools. Four hundred thousand. Not bad at all. That's a lot of tools. So these trucks here are most of these are auto, so they do they they will deliver tools. And speaking of, we have a bunch of vehicles um, pretty much running low on their lifespan here. Um, so what are your details? You're 17 years. And a lot of trucks are probably, probably getting old. We sold a bunch of trucks because we redid our situation. So how old are these now? 19 years. A new vehicle is available. It looks like a tram. I'm not gonna mess with trams right now. I have, what? How is it I have vehicles in this depot. Why do I have vehicles here? And how old are they? Okay, well, we're gonna sell you and sell you. I wonder how long those have been sitting in there. Oh, we have the Ford Model 77 too. So I'm gonna do first green it. One, two, three, four, five. We are gonna, this is Custer passengers. Um, okay, let's see if we can upgrade our trucks to the new Ford. So set vehicle, let's see, look at the difference here. Capacity eight, speed 19. Capacity nine, speed 25, not bad. Uh, we are going to green them, and we are going to set that up there. And yes, 25. So these should start being replaced. There we go. Now rocking the Ford. as we slowly get these upgraded. I'm not 
not sure. Yeah, they're they're upgrading, definitely. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Still working on tools. Wow, that's a lot of tools. Okay, they are all upgraded. Looking forward to getting better buses. I don't know when they unlock. I am not familiar with the game enough yet to know when the vehicle unlocks are. But we've now replaced all of our trucks with the epic sweetness. Uh, you have a machine. Why didn't you... He had a machine, but he didn't drop it off. He should have been able to drop it off here, no problem. Okay, Hartford. He is, they are they are getting machines. Um, but now with the food situation, I'm delivering way more food now. Not way more, I mean it's more, but not not by an extreme amount. Why are you coming back with no livestock? And why are you... You've got... Lots of grain stored. How much food do you have stored? You have 116 food stored. Why... Why are you not delivering it to my hungry train? Is it because it's not being delivered fast enough? I'm, that's what my guess is. It's not being consumed fast enough at the very end of the line to, to get enough demand. It looks like our train as well is trying to keep up with this number of passengers. I can hold 90, so I'm basically full every time. Look at the profit on this guy. Just impressive. So, let's see what we can do. I mean, Custer is doing good. Uh, we're not really delivering food up here. We are delivering just a trickle of machines, really. Let's go back down here. See, this thing increased its production, which is good. And we're maxed out on... We're maxed out on tools, but machines are a little lax. So, I mean, we could try to get a plastic process going. Because we've got plenty. Plenty of steel, but... Again, oh, we we are at a deadlock here. Okay, um, and these are trying to be on the same freaking track again. Why do you hate me, game? Why do you hate me? Um, I really should look at a tutorial or something about the signals in this game because this is ridiculous. This train should have come in, saw that that path was taken, and just zipped along on this one. Why is this... Why is this confusing people? So you've got lots of machines. You're gonna... You're just gonna turn around. Because that's... That's getting really annoying. Um... really annoying so yeah he just blows right through and this thing just hates me so I'll look at a tutorial on that 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 is kind of baffling to me wow I am loading up on tools impressive 
And here comes another huge load of planks. And it just dropped off a bunch of wood. I might create a plank route just to go bounce back and forth between these. But I need to start looking at how to deliver more food. And I think what I'm going to do is add some food delivery to maybe West Jordan up here. This is far, well, this, that would be a little, that's a pretty big climb. A lot of carving out of land on that front. So... I have to look at maybe refinery, or I could, if I really wanted to, deliver grain up here for some plastic. And then I could truck plastic down to here. That might be a way to, that might be a way to do it. Although the grain, I'm... I got lots of green. This thing is still waiting for food. Yeah, I need to I need to do something about my food. I want to start growing another city so I have a place for an airport to deliver to. And we got two more farms down here that we could be that we could be using. So, yeah. Okay, who do I want to grow here? Look at the cars on this road right here. That might be a prime... A prime place for some transit, because that's a busy route right there. So yeah, I'll work on that. Coming up next episode, getting this organized... So we have a place to fly to from our central city there um, down here. So we could fly all the way out to Charleston and back, make a little money that way. So that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.